Welcome! Hey, it's it's live. It's live, not pre-recorded. No, it's live. We are... It's a day. Hi, I just... I'm really tall. That's... Made a mistake. Okay, maybe I should have really... There's that. Hey, hey, there we go. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's it's the stream time. I'm I'm Jordan. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the show of shows, the stream that you have been waiting for all week. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. This is the stream. All the streams. This is officially licensed. Officially licensed. This is real. Uh, you, you know what you're getting. You're not going to get some knockoffs. You're not going to just 100% legit call MC Hammer because I'm too legit to quit. Just kidding. I'm Jordan. That's the name of, that's my name. This is, this is the show. I, look, um, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know what the hell I'm going to be doing tonight. Uh, so, um, I just basically snorted a crap ton of G Fuel right before the stream, and hopefully by the end of the night, there'll be something that's sort of content. I don't know. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe not. I don't know. But the whole plan tonight is to have a whole three days worth of streams in one single stream with one single person because everyone I called said they were busy or they didn't want to come over for fear of Delta. That is, that is the life. All right, so I um, guess I'll just sit here. All right. <clears throat> so uh, the, the, I guess now we have to do the, the thing now where you have to have like some segments. Like every uh, good, good show and some other streaming thing uh we have to do some some sort of uh of uh, let's let's do a uh, costco sampler video time that's that's the name of the segment i believe costco costco sample video time that's all right could we, do we have like a a graphic let's let's load, let's load the graphic uh, we, oh, we need music. Uh, hi, I don't, welcome to Costco sample video time. We, we, we'll be, uh, sampling some videos for you today and, uh, then we'll think if they're tasty or not so tasty. That's, that's what, that's what we vote on. If they're tasty videos or not so tasty. Uh, this video, uh, we found on Reddit, uh, it's, it's, you know, people like to jump to conclusions but that takes this takes it to a whole nother level. Um, maybe, maybe we should have uh, just uh, there, just there, and I'll take that off. There we go. Let's watch this video together. Well, you know, I like the where where she landed on the rock and then did like a backflop. That was cool, right? Hey, Jordan. That's that's how it works. Uh, so so next, uh, let's uh let's just see what's going on. Um. Oh, here, here's one. A ring camera caught a moment. Whoop. <laughs> that's not how you play ping pong. In fact, I don't think that's how you play regular pong. Anyway, this video. Uh, 
I should probably preface nobody dies. Wow, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby. Right around. So what do you say? Is that tasty or not so tasty, folks? Let's, what do you think? What do you think? Is that tasty or not so tasty? All right, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. Um... Oh, this, this, you know, if you heard of this uh, new game called Hitman uh, 2, well, then you are in for a treat. Oh. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That's the way I like it. Hey ho, hey ho. Hey, you have to rewatch it. It's funnier that way. Here, just so watch. Let's watch it again. Lay like gets stabbed and then stuck and spins. That's real. You know, Riders Republic is currently in beta, and you know what? I think people are really loving that game. Listen up. If you're in Zion, you gotta chew on a bit of stunt action. This is one of the most dangerous and dizzying... That's how you do a big beef. That's how you do a big beef. All right. Well, that has been the exciting I said, uh, segment. If there uh, is any treasure. Of, of... Actually, let's just, uh... You know what? You know what? Let's let's you know let's 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 let some yoga here. We'll get some yoga from Regon Twenty Four here. Here we go. How about some fun? Ah, very cute. This one with that. All right, well that was uh, that was Costco sample video time. All right, so that that was uh, that was wasn't that exciting? Well, you know, I you know Sometimes we, we, we take things for granted here. So it's time for us to dissect rather electronic sports is more than electronic sports with this hot new segment. Maybe not yet. That's nope. Not not what it's called. Not what it's called. The the segment that we are now about to do next. You're everyone's gonna love this one. It it's called Maybe it's electronic sports. Or maybe it's not. I think people will love it. It's called maybe it's electronic sports, maybe it's not. Yeah, that's okay. Well, um, you know, we go around the internet, we look at all exciting things, and we're trying to figure out, well, could they really be a sport or not? Or is there electronic sports or not? And something that's crossed my mind here is the exciting world of blade sports. No, I'm not talking about rollerblading. I'm talking about the real edge play. That's right, knives. So let's take a look at this exciting sport here. As uh, you see, this is a little obstacle course challenge. Let's go, Mike. As this guy's about to watch it with one hand, just keep chopping up some lumber. Yeah. 
done. Get some applause. Blood in hand. Yeah, slice some paper. Why not? Makes me really want to. Look at that. Slicing some more wood. Sli oh, it's it's rope. And stepping up and then slicing. Half. Okay. Cut. You know what? That is some real. That, that is some real talent right there. Will he chop? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The, the wood? Oh, how about some water bottles? Yeah. How about a cup? Well, that's not how you. No, that's not how you bottle flip. No. Oh, just yeah, just keep chopping the blue pieces. Yeah. Wouldn't this hurt your wrist after a while? And then here's the competitor about to do the next one. So that got me wondering: Can this really be a team sport? Is this is this an electronic sport or is it not? So let's debate the issue. First of all, there is no videos. It's not on nice. Xbox or PlayStation or even on PC. And the only thing you need is a knife. And some skill. There is a crowd, though. There is attendance for this event. So clearly, there is some people really committed to the exciting world of blade sports. But there is no uh, teams. You're not seeing Liquid take part of this. There is no Team Echo participation in this. So... Can it really be considered an electronic nice. sport unless it has money from some people who are might be into cryptocurrency a little bit too much? Who knows? But it, it, as you can see, there is a lot of rope. And I wonder if the person who had to order all this rope uh, got a little too kinky. This is the kind of stuff that dreams are made of. Just imagine the casting you could do. All right, this guy's been working his whole life, working for this moment here. One hand behind his back. It's clearly the left hand because he knows being right hand dominant. Now he is just chopping away at it. He's going to go through the rough, oh, like butter through butter. You know he's been practicing at home for the last three years with rope on his wife, and it has been nothing but pleasure for him and the wife. Cutting that tennis ball in two because of a real assault against tennis in general. Uh, cutting through the rope once again, and now he's going to cut through the stick like butter and erasers. Cutting through another rope like it's no problem, no big deal. Just remains focused. A real dexterity here. You know, one important thing that we know about this guy is that he really dislikes water. You know, one of his favorite beverages, he said in an recent interview, is actually Mountain Dew Code Red. Mountain Dew Code Red is just his favorite soda, and in fact, the only thing he actually drinks at his part-time job at the Lowe's. In fact, that's how he got an employee discount for cutting the wood that we actually have today for this show. So it just to me, it just it just feels natural that this could be an electronic sport, or maybe it's not. Here's the reasons it can't be an electronic sport. There is no cell phones. Is this just mobile gaming? Is this, mo is this mobile gaming? Is this is this mobile gaming? Who knows? This could just be mobile gaming, for all I know. All right, well, now it's time to enter the game lab. Um, okay, well, I didn't really think this one through either. Uh, still in this one section. Okay. Um, There. Okay, totally different set now. See the blankets. Totally, totally different blankets are here. To totally different blankets. That means we're in the game lab. We love video games here in the game game laboratory to play games for for you guys on stream. That's what we do. All right. Uh, 
Okay, quickly. Uh, what, what do we what do we do next? Uh, we load up a game. Oh yeah, because we're still uh, trying to figure out what's cool in, in in the world of electronic sports. So here's a cool electronic sports game for you guys to play. Uh, it's it's called Dive Kick. So let's just load up Dive Kick. I'm so godlike. That's uh, yep. Yeah, that's how we uh, play. All right. So let's just load this up. Dive Kick. There we go. And we'll just put me overlay it. There we go. Dive Kick. So this is Dive Kick. This is Edition Edition Plus. So. You only play with two buttons, left trigger, right trigger. You know, versus online mode, how to play? I think we're gonna do some story mode. Zedek, do you get it? We can play Dive. We can play Defensor from Needhog. Johnny Gat from Saints Row 4. Kenny. S. Kill. Killian. Seth Killian. <laughs> Markman. The Baz. Jafali. Uncle Sensei. Dr. Scholes. Mr. N. Kit. Uh, we can't talk about him. Uh, Kung Pao can dive. I, I'm more of a dive kind of person, so. We'll Statistically, play with dive. I can never lose. Zedek, your chin. Now we can do a style jam. We can do a dive. We can do meter. We can do kick. We can do 30% all. We have personal sudden death, which means it one, it's one hit kills. Really dangerous. I think I'm going to go with the meter. Zedek, I think that's really nuts. crucial for this. And now to pick a color, I'm gonna go with my uh, classic black. Born and raised in West Philadelphia with his fraternal twin brother, Kick, Dave Dive is a serious math student with dreams of a promising career as a statistician. I don't care. There it is. There's Wolverine. I mean, redacted. Stay informed. Question yes. forces. Come above. So there's one button. Left Down trigger dive, one. right trigger kick. kick. So, let's do it. Dive kick. 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 Oh, I got kicked. So I got eliminated. But it's okay. Round two. It's the realist esport. There you go. Headshot. Headshots are really good in this game because that means you knock out your player for a couple of seconds. Which means you do a double kill like that. It's easier to get the attack in. How's that? And I know what you're saying. What is that? Uh, everything that you can't see. Well. That's SSA. A weapon is in good or bad depends on the person who uses it. Real food for thought. Real food for thought. And what Johnny got? Follow the Keats and dive kick game about episode of the dive kick. Oh, Keats. This round All right, death from above. Here we go. Round, round one. one. Dive, dive kick. kick. <laughs> See, this is the realest esport. No, all these fighting games. Yes. Everyone's like, yes, that's an esport. But, you know, something about just how simple and elegant this game is, which is a dive and a kick. It's all about quick time reflections and reaction times and trying to figure out which combo works for you. Oh, that. We don't. Can't put that in here. We can't put that in here. There we go. Oh. You know, I know what you're saying, Jordan. You are just one of the greatest people who ever lived. How are you so funny, and how are you so good at games? That's a really good question. Because they just am. S S B. Martial arts are my passion, but I think my father expected me to be a doctor. Caveat enter. Oh no, it's a brother versus brother fight. No. Oh. 
Your grades are terrible. Why won't you focus at school? I'm just not interested, bro. You spend your Friday with a MacBook, but I always have a hot date. Burn. Your lifestyle doesn't add up. I should have seen the signs. If I win, you have to take your studies more seriously. Your future is at stake. Real food for thought. Fine, but if I win, you have to loosen up. You gotta really think about this. This is real high stakes. This from above! Round one, die, kick! Jeez! The secret life of bees! Round two, die, kick! Complex guard again! I can do this. I, I can. I, I'm good at video games. There we go. Gotta think. Dive, kick, or dive kick. That is a statistical anomaly. I got a really easy scenario. Demo. That was not worth it. That was not. Six. Double KO. Double KO. Round seven. What? Perfect. I'm one away from losing. I don't want tank on the stream. Kick wins. Yo. Please continue this from above. We didn't see that. We didn't see that. We're just going to keep moving on. We're just going to keep moving on, you know. I, I like to think of myself as someone who's really good at video games. You know, I, I like to play all of the video games, all of them, all at once. Um, Logger, uh, Dig Dug, um, Jeremy McGrath Supercross, uh, Tekken 2, um, Lando. You know, this is this is a fe foot fetish's wet dream right here. It's just this game. There you go. Not the flashy thing. Yes, the flashy thing. I played this one with the PlayStation Vita. That's right. Diving, ass, kicking ass, not losing. Let's see. The JEO main stage. Pizza Miku. Think about that. Pizza Miku. Never know. Round two. I kick. It's okay. I still made money. Round three. I kick. Oh. So every time Jeff Faley wins, uh, his head gets bigger. I kick. Into salt. Making it easier for headshots. Round five. I'm gonna let him do a kick. I'm gonna let him kick. Six. Kick. His hitbox goes big. Just keep going. Seven. I kick. Every tier. Oh, I got hit. Oh. Bill comes down to this. 
this. It all comes down, down to this. And his head taking up like a good quarter of the stream. I like how I just hit him like right in the shin. That's all you need to do. I really need to finish my math homework. Whatever you do, don't dig down. Don't get yes, down. From above. Round one. I kick. <laughs> I think my controllers are weird. Where one is Round kick is right. Two. I kick. <laughs> Round three, dive kick! Round shot! Well, failure is beneath shoals! Round four, dive kick! I have no hope! Fraud detection warning. What? Fraud detection warning. Oh, fraud detection warning. Round five, dive kick! No! Detection averted. Round six. Darn it. Kick. Oh, you wretch. Wins. I get one move, right? I meant to do that. It's better to master two moves than to know 20,000. Think about that. Always descend with man knight. Uncle Sensai, that this is our leader. This is our trusted leader, the Uncle Sensai. Uncle, a man from the state came by while you were out. Yeah, they do it from time to time. He delivered a notice that said you need to vacate the dojo. Why didn't you tell us about this? Well, we all got our own problems to deal with. So it's true? You no longer own the dojo? Well, uh, do any of us really own anything? Tell me everything. I'm trying to help you. Yes, from above! Round one, dive <laughs> kick! Here we go! Is that a nickel? Bankruptcy! Kicked him in the round two! Dive kick! Here we go! Alright! In the salt! Complex guns again! Round three! Dive kick! This is really not fair. Alright! Oh. In fact, he can just put his arms in his boot and call Nando. it a day. Four! Dive kick! Round five, I kick! So high! All right, here we go! Hey! 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 It's all about angles and timing. Perfecto! I kicked him in the leg, that's what's six. perfect. Six, I kick! Hey! All right! Hey! All right! Hey! Oh, that got me good! Round seven! Round seven, here we go, dive kick! All right! Motivated. No. That was not good. Oh. Nope. Come on, one more. One more. Switch. Switch. Reaching. So you see that red line? When timer goes off, whoever's closest to that red line wins. Switch! Oh man, wins! this from above! Round one! Once again, that was just practice. That was just a practice. I'm a 
I'm, I'm, I'm practicing Down. for the e Evo. E Evo. Uh, it was E V O O. That's the yeah. event. Here we go. Take Is that nickel? Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Mr. I love math. Five times five, twenty-five. Hey, what's five squared? Also twenty-five. Why is it squared? Why don't you write down and find out? I don't watch those videos. Wins. That's what we call kicking some saw. Not good. Not my day. Round Not my day. Round seven. Round seven. Round seven. Round seven. Round seven. Round this. Boom. Yeah, I, I heard that before. I have twenty dollars. That's our budget today. From above. Jeff from above. Here we go. Round, Round one. one. Dive kick. kick. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Guys like Round two. Dive kick. Cover yeah. yeah. KO. Round three. Dive kick. Yeah. 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 Think about that. Round. Sometimes you need to dive, sometimes you need to kick. It's all about angles and timing. Fraud detection warning. Oh, man. Fraud detection warning. Round six. What if you have a kick? Good thing. Detection averted. Round seven. I kick. Wins. How many people want to kick some saw? Boo boo bit a bit. All right. Ah, uh, curtsy yo yo. I don't know what any of that means. Stop right there, student of the new angle dojo. Who are you? A new variable I haven't yet considered? You have no apparent weaknesses, but no outstanding strengths. Everyone needs weaknesses. Come and let me adjust you. No, don't nerf me, bro. I won't let you round me down. Mm. 
welcome to Domination 101. Alright. Yes, from above! Death from above, here we go. Round one. Just, he just keeps spamming his... I think this is supposed to be the final boss. Fair point. I walked right into that one. Or should I say, dive right into that one. Seven. What is this Dragon Ball Z garbage? Is that killing? Or sorry, S kill supposed to be like a like a like a. It was it? Yeah. The degree to like sell. Continue. Sell. See, I've watched anime. Yes, from above. Here, one. have some pot. Leave me alone. Alright. I'm not believing that it is real. Kick, knife kick, dive kick, dive kick, dive kick. Iteration limit reached! Round five, dive kick! Complex dodge again! Round five, dive kick! I should have done better. <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! That's the only way to make it fair even. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. My wins. And now I'm going to win. BSD. My calculations point to victory! Record dive has a big decision to make. Is he going to get an eSports license? That's how you play Dive Kick. It's a, it's a wonderful game. It's available on Steam right now. I Once Iron Galaxy started working on this game, thanks to me, we <laughs> Dave Lang insisted. Oh, leave this to the pros. You gotta get <laughs> Butt crack is killing me, dude. <laughs> so yeah, it's available. 
extremely out of shape. Something about a budget <laughs> mo cap suits. <laughs> no! God, you're dumb and bad at this! Try harder! Dive kick! You got hurt because your heart isn't pure. No more bull <laughs> You're the only one here not pulling their weight. I'm doing my job, camera guy's doing his job, our dive kickers are doing their job. We don't have anything usable because of you. Don't f it up for everybody else. Frame it just like this, it's not that hard. Uh, what else you got? <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to uh, say it's available. Hey, Wooly. I just wanted to uh, say it's available on Steam. I think it's it's available on, on Switch recently. Uh, you can pick it up. I, I bought this on Vita. I don't think it, you can buy on Vita anymore. Um, it, it's about five. It's about, I think it came out 2017. It's about five years old at this point. I forced it. Yeah, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Oh, 2013. Oh, geez. I feel very old. Exit. There we go. Wasn't that exciting? Wasn't that really f fun doing, doing that? Wasn't that... F fun we had good uh we gotta take it uh back to the main floor from the game lab thanks jordan that was fun all right so uh now it's time for the really stupid stunt that we do uh okay uh what do we what I think what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some karaoke with a twist. We're going to be uh, waterboarding ourselves now. Okay. It's okay. We got some uh, sound effects, too. No, no. Bruh. <laughs> and that's it. We're doing good. We're, we're not embarrassing ourselves anymore. Okay, we'll just, uh. My favorites. No, we'll just log in. You just log me into the account so I can. There you go. There you go. Now we got some sound effects. We can play trumpet. We got, uh. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. First round, the Jeopardy round. No, we're not doing Jeopardy. I'm not, this is not an audition for Jeopardy. I'm not, this is not an audition role for Jeopardy. You're not going to listen to my podcast and cancel me. Okay? This is, this is a real professional fucking thing we're doing. That's why one, we'll move on. All right, so, so uh, where, where are we? Where are we at right now? Oh yeah, the, the karaoke thing. The, the bit where we were going to sing some public domain karaoke songs. Okay, so here we go. Because we can't really afford any other songs. Because licensing is expensive. Alright, here we go. Here, here's a fun karaoke. <laughs> okay, we still got it. <coughs> we still have my water is just yeah. <coughs> there, just yeah. We're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, I just splattered water all over a keyboard. Okay, water and electronics are good, right? It's good. We're good. All right. Uh. 
And all that for me had a pig. We love Nay, nay. There is a crap ton of water on my pants right now. I'm afraid of getting up and just like looking like I just tinkled all over myself. Um, so deepest apologies. Uh, here a ball everywhere. Who cares anymore? Had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. We had fun, didn't we, folks? Did we have fun? You won't see that anywhere else. I don't think you want to see that anywhere else, to be honest. But that's we're fine, right? <clears throat> All right. So now that we had our really fun segment that you can clip and put for SEO scores, I'm gonna just uh, leave this here because we might have to go back to the game lab real soon as we uh, chat about video games. Video games are fantastic. So, uh, recently, I uh, decided to show to the uh, G4 Discord, which you can participate by going to discord.gg slash g4tv. That's discord.gg slash g4tv. Come say hi to an awesome community. There's lots of fun community members, lots of feedback channels, lots of places to post to your cat and places to ask, is G4 really coming back? I don't know. I don't work there. They don't tell me shit. Anyway, uh, so <clears throat> uh, I, I recently wanted to uh, talk about some news that I uh, recently saw. Uh, so um, this is the part where we're going to be talking some exciting games. Um, <clears throat> so really out of my uh, discussion here. Um, and also might really age this, uh, video, um, recently Fortnite, uh, because for, for honestly the right intentions tried to do this event in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. And I thought it was in good intentions, but the problem with gaming is that a lot of people really just want to just mess things up for everybody. And plus with something like Fortnite, where it's almost like a video game version of shit posting is really tough. So it, it's so what they recently had to do is they had to disable uh, a lot of emotes in the game because of course maybe talking about something as serious as civil rights maybe not a good time to do the Rick Sanchez dance. You know the Rick dance, Rick dance. This is what they do, right? This is the kids. The kids do this dance. I'm a I'm a millennial. I don't know. They I don't play. I own Fortnite. I played Fortnite, <clears throat> but I'm like just now getting into uh, Crocs. Like I just now bought Crocs. So I don't I don't know most of these things. Uh, this is all strange to me. So um, basically, all of this 
all the disrespectful kind of emotes, you know, like the booze and all that, to, to try and taunt, uh, those are all men disabled because maybe good reason to do that. Um, also, uh, recently, uh, Blizzard changed the name of McCree in the game because uh, the, the name Jesse McCree is actually not like a callback to Mad Dog McCree, the FMV game. It's actually uh, someone who worked at Blizzard who is a uh, jerk who may or may not allegedly uh, did some really horrible, horrible, horrible things. Horrible. That maybe it's a good idea to change the name just to push it away. Problem is... Does this really make any difference? Activision Blizzard is in a world of hurt right now. The Overwatch League is kind of in an implosion right now. And there is a lot of factors going in with the people who work at Activision Blizzard in regards to safety and security of their own employees. Especially, of course, women and minorities. So, is this really going to get people back on board of Activision Blizzard games? I, I don't know. I'll also, uh, they haven't really uh, said what McCree's new uh, name is. Uh, other than uh, they were going to have a whole new storyline from Activision. And let me just read this off, actually. Let's read off. This is what officially Overwatch uh, team uh, put out. Let's... Uh, yeah, I know. That's okay. <clears throat> we built the Overwatch universe around the idea that inclusivity, equity, and hope are the building blocks of a better future. They are the central to the game and to the Overwatch team. As we continue to discuss how we best live up to our values and demonstrate our commitment to creating a game that reflects them, we believe it's necessary to change the name of the hero currently known as McCree to something that better represents what Overwatch stands for. We realize that any change to such a well-loved and central hero in the game's fiction will take time to roll out correctly and we'll share updates as this week progresses. In the near term, we had planned to kick off a narrative arc in September supported with new story and game content of which McCree was a key part. Since we want to integrate this change into that story arc, we'll be delaying the new arc until later this year. Instead, launch a new FFA map this September. Going forward, in-game characters will no longer be named after real employees and will be more thoughtful and discerning about adding real-world references in future Overwatch content. This will help reinforce that we're building a fictional universe that's unmistakably different from the real world and better illustrates that the creation of Overwatch is truly a team effort. Work on these updates is underway, and they are just a part of our ongoing commitment to honest reflection and making whatever changes are necessary to build a future war fighting for. We know that actions speak louder than words, and we hope to show you our commitment to making Overwatch a better experience in-game and continue to make our team the best it can be. Signed, the Overwatch team. Well, that is, I mean, a thought-out content it, it, the question still remains is this with good intentions or you know is this is, is this just so we can hide out the accountability that activision blizzard needs uh i i cannot speak on behalf of everybody um however i would probably say i would rather see some action be done at the company and ways to address the issues that have been Pretty prevalent in the last couple of months. But Overwatch, maybe we need to have the guy who says it's high noon have a different voice. What, what would his new name be? What do you think his name should be? I, I personally think it should be... Um, and then he can do a joke. Maybe it should be named Kasim. Kasim G. Uh, is he uh, that's the real name oh is there anything problematic okay no he's good all right we're good we're good nothing problematic we're good all right so uh so this so after that exciting piece of news uh the other last piece of news to report also uh is 
uh, you know, there is this big, uh, this big kind of thing that just recently came out. Uh, Nintendo, once again, doing season Ds with fan-made games. Uh, a Prime 2D side-scroller remake of Metroid Prime uh, took 15 years to make. Guys, C and D uh, from from a team. This is also posted. Hello, good kid fans. This is nice. We've been dreading. We've been asked by a certain games related company to discontinue work on Prime 2D in its current form. We have removed the demo download and soundtrack MP3 download. We're currently in dialogue with that company to determine how to best proceed for both parties. That's that's I guess some way to do it. Um. Oh wow. What? Well, okay. Well, I guess that's another piece of news. All right. Uh, we uh, there's apparently. I mean, yes, No More Heroes Three just came out, but you can check that out over on YouTube, <laughs> YouTube.com/slash/g4tv, as one Adam Sessler gives his reviews and thoughts on it. And if you have any ideas, go over to the Discord, give your feedback. Let's read the comments now. I think Jefferson's great. He is. All right, let's move on. Uh, so. <clears throat> people are talking about the new Marvel game. You know what? I, I will be honest right now. I have not seen any of the trailers from Gamescom. And I originally had a plan to watch some of them here. Um, I'm also really cold because I have water dribbled all over me doing a silly bit where I basically chugged a whole bunch of water trying to uh, sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. That's okay. So you know what? Let's see here. What's some of those Gamescom trailers that people like? Let's see here. What's that big trailer? that uh, I think it's IGN has it. Let's go to IGN and quickly... Um, Loop Hero Speedrun. So, so if you are playing Loop Hero, I thought that doesn't come out for another month or so. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there's rough arcade gun. I, I just wanted Farmer Simulator. Number Hero 3 that just came out. I want, what's that Marvel? Oh, yes, the Jack O famous. Have you seen this Jack O challenge that's been making the rounds? This Jack O challenge. If I'm letting you out of the corner, I'm not doing my. No, 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 we're not. Uh, here we go. So let's uh, let's try to do the Jack O challenge right now. Uh, so Jack O is uh, basically a pose uh, from the famous Guilty Gear games. Let's uh, let's just quickly. Uh, I guess we can show us who we show us the. Here you go. Uh, okay. We, oh, forgot to do the. Forgot to do the the the. There you go. So here we go. The crouching idol. This is the infamous pose that Jacko does. Uh, you know, just hanging out and then getting up and yeah, just booty in the air. So everyone's been trying to replicate that right now. Whoop. We almost got. I get, maybe we just didn't pay electricity. Uh, so here we go. Um, let's try it right now. So here we go. I'm going to try the Jack O challenge because this is what the internet wants these days. Embarrassment. All right, here we go. Uh, there we go. So we just like that in there. And that's kind of it. I really hope it was in frame because I'd be really pissed. All right. Oh, I have a cramp. <laughs> I'm. I have a cramp. Ow. Yeah, that's that good. Yeah, that's a good. Okay. Maybe I need some Advil. Maybe I need to sleep. I don't know. That's. That's not good. All right. <clears throat> so that's the Jacko challenge. Uh, people are doing fan art, both nude and safe for work. 
on Twitter of that pose, which hurts my right leg. Uh, okay, so oh. So I want to see that Marvel trailer. What is that? Uh... Oh, wait. A Marvel All-Star Brawl trailer with April O'Neil and CatDog? Boy, howdy. I'm still not interested. Are we just celebrating shovelware titles these days? Is that, is that what we're up to? It's, it's celebrate Wii titles that are like, would have been 30 bucks. Maybe they're no longer THQ, and that's why they're good. I don't... I don't know. Uh, let's see. Where is... That Marvel game I've been hearing so much about? What is it? Marv... What's it called? Marvel... 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 It's Marvel Baby. Marvel Time. Marvel's Midnight Suns. Here it is. I haven't seen this trailer, so let's give it a look. First, they conquered humanity's greatest evil. Okay, so it's like Avengers? She lay in rest. Enter Sandman. The Metallica Blacklist. We're gonna get blacklisted anyway. Thanks to what's been going on here, okay. Then they vanquished threats from beyond our stars. And she lay in rest. Okay. So. Ah, darn it. Yeah, Ghost Rider, yeah. Is that, is that supposed to be Robbie Ray's or? There you are, Robbie. Schnick, schnick, bub. Schnick, schnick, go get Pizza Hut pan pizza, bub. Only three ninety nine, bub. Hold the anchovies, bub. Video game ass video game music. Ooh, I love that 40 FPS just to make it look slow-mo. So, yeah. You, you sold me a bit with, with Ghost Rider, but I mean, like, I, Midnight Suns really wasn't my favorite kind of arc. Transactions. Oh, that sucks. But Blade's there. That's cool. That's kind of. Oh, get the exclusive skin. Hey, who ate the rest of my ramen? Um, bad dog. Oh, there's a little Easter egg there. A little Marvel Easter egg right there for you guys. All right, I. You know me. I know it's Marvel. Marvel's okay. I'm more of an X-Men guy. When it comes to Marvel comics, I'm more of an X-Men. I, 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 give me Gambit. Give me Cyclops. Give me Jean Grey. Give me Ro all of those. Rogue gallery of people. All those great characters. A lot of wonderful storylines. I just think the X-Men universe in Marvel is just really cool to me. Uh, so, eh. But uh, good news. Um, apparently, apparently, there is some... Uh, gameplay footage which is not real let's get to one year ago so last year i was really excited about a game and it got delayed anyone who knows me knows what this game is uh, i want to reshow it to you guys it's called gotham knights this one is one of my favorite games i'm looking forward to for, for a long time we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city we're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims this story is evolving rapidly please bear with us we are just really loud boom 
There was smoke everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. Emergency vehicles are... It appears that a large portion of the building has actually collapsed. In international news, an explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. We are now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is... What happened to Bruce? If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a cold black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Okay, but what about the will, Bruce? Who's getting, like, the manor? Yeah! Here we go. Mr. Grayson and Red Hood seen in Titans right now. Everyone thinks he's Deadpool for some reason. I don't see it. Something about this just, I mean, some of it feels cheap. But to me, it just reminds me of the Avengers game that just came out recently. I mean, like, it just that's maybe just because it's the four people. Ideally, when I'm looking at this game... Oh, wow. Flippy fuse. All right. Um, ideally, I want this to be a Bat Family sort of X-Men arcade game. With 3D. But they had to delay it. No one talks about them. Oh, the quarter battle. Beware the court of owls watching. Not a whisper word is said. Well, where's Talon? Aren't you gonna do this? Beware the court of owls watching Boys Gotham from. That was like the only good thing from New 52. The town strikes you dead. Ah. Well, not anymore. Um. Yeah, it got it got delayed. I was still looking forward to that game, but it got pushed back. I really hope it gets good. My theory is it's going to be like an X Men multiplayer co op game. From what I'm hearing, you can only play up to two people at a time, which is kind of a letdown. I kind of want to see all four at once, but maybe I understand it. Uh, much like the Avengers, I'm guessing it's going to be everyone has their own set powers. You go through the same little waves of enemies and sort of certain things happen. I think superheroes in a movie platform, I think we're in that stage where now a lot of franchises are making their way over. 
I mean, like Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out soon. Uh, we recently uh, just saw the um, what was it? The uh, the the DLC for for Spider Man. They've also came out recently. Uh, th- like, there's a lot of of Marvel comics and DC comics and all of these comic book games that just show up and overlap. It makes sense, but um, I don't know. I really don't know how to feel. Um, but I mean, like, it it is a genre. Personally, I kind of like more party games. I think everyone knows me by now. I love party games. Give me more Super Monkey Balls. Give me Mario Parties. I don't care if not everyone loves them and you betray your friends for riches. It's just it's just plain fun. And the only like things I get excited for is the Jackbox Party Pack. And Jackbox Party Pack 8 uh, isn't out till I think, November. Because it's usually out around Halloween to November. That little fall quarter four launch window and they have five new games there's a draw full of animation there's like a trivia game of spinning of the wheel there's a little magna doodle kind of uh, magnet poetry uh word game it's kind of like quiplash and it's just all sorts of silly things um but yeah just i video games are just so much fun but um recently uh, a lot of people have been playing a lot of video games a lot of video games uh, that I think it's time we got to go back to the game lab. I want to show off one of my favorite new indie games that just came out, uh, Phantom Abyss. Not a lot of people have really talked about Phantom Abyss uh, from what I saw, except for that like two weird window. Uh, so let me just quickly go into the game lab real quick. Alright, we're in the game lab. That's it's the game lab, folks. We're in the game lab. Uh there. I'll even change Here, let's get some cool lights. We'll make it green. Here, here, here we have a budget. Look, we can do this. Ooh, it's green now. Does that does that make it interesting? Oh I'll make it purple. Or red. Green, I'll leave it green. All right. So let's just go straight to the game capture game. And uh, here we go. Phantom Abyss. This is a uh, rogue game. Uh, Devolver Digital published this. so the idea is basically you're in a temple and you're trying to get a treasure. Uh, everyone before you uh, tried to get it and failed miserably. So your job is to go through this temple. Now you can follow someone, specific path, loot captured. Uh, someone you follow. So hey, uh, follow me and you can see what I've failed at and there's a specific path. Let's just do a new path. Let's do a new treasure. Only one person in the world will complete this temple. We're only going to do one run today. Uh, unless I royally screw up. The Eye of Agony protects this temple. No one has been here before. I'm the first one to try this new temple. Look at this. Look at this f- fake monolith thing. Alright, let's just keep running. No harm, no foul yet, but... There's dangers around every corner. So starting here, oh. There. Oh, be a slide. All right, I was wondering where the slide was. All right, get some coinage, get some coinage. Oh, watch out for that poison gas. Poison gas is still around, so I'm just gonna just, you know, and then. There we go. Go this way. Maybe there's a little, uh, nope. But over here there should be. There we go. So the idea is to get these little coins. It's a roguelike game. So every room is different. Every temple is different. Uh, it might have similar obstacles, but ultimately everything might be different based on the amount of 
challenges such as these spike strips to the amount of coins you might collect to enemies you will face. The thing I love about this game is there's only one real enemy in there and we're, you don't see that until uh, level 2. In level 1, it's just basically know your obstacle. So here's the first one. I think this is just a press pad. So, yep, it goes down and then pushes back up and that's randomized. So we just keep looking what's going on. Oh, look, a metaglyph. All right, let's just keep going. Just go straight. Wow, that was close. All right, let's move up. Oh, jeez. Um, that's a pattern. So memorize the pattern. That goes up. Go down. Go up. Go down. Go up. I don't care. Going straight. All right, this is our first key room. We need to get a key to open this door. But to get to that key, we have to go through a puzzle of some kind, like a video game. Now, we have a whip similar to Pitfall, where we have to try and maneuver our way across. So we'll just uh, try and jump. I should uh, point out by now that I have played this game for several hours, and I have yet to complete a temple, so I am probably the worst person to talk about this game as someone who sucks, so. There you go, B. Oh, let's get the chest open. All right, that's a key. We'll just, uh, we'll get this going, and now we got our little key. Let's, uh, see where we need to go and jump. And there we go. So far, no damage, which is good. We just got to keep doing what we just did on our way over. So jump and jump up there and then wait and jump and go. There we go. We did it. So now we can just go into this room, insert the key. We're fine. So, oh, geez. Oh, geez. That's like thwomp blocks. Just, oh, maybe we're fine here. We were fine. Maybe we're fine. Oh, oh nope. So two places, we can go sunspot with the metaglyph, or we can go left. Let's go left. Uh, made no difference. We'll just keep going this way right now. Uh, what I love about this game is the variety of obstacles. It is a basic platforming game, but I love the fact it's a first-person mode in its style. And I do love this whip, and I love the way it handles its roguelike atmospheres. And plus, little secret. So you can go up here, get your treasure. I think we should have more than 150. Okay, we're at 161, 171. 171. Uh, we'll just keep moving this way. Nope, this way. Oh, I've not seen this before. Oh, shit. This is new to me. <laughs> I have not played this. Okay. So we'll just... Uh... That was a tr that was making me a little nauseous, to be honest. But we did it. We made it through the first level, and boop. Shrine. We have 171. We can buy... We use the coins to buy it. Lucky landing or wings. Fall slowly if we hold jump. Lucky landing sometimes without taking damage. You will gain health instead. I will take the lucky landing. Because our luck is desperately needed for this. So we have our first uh, health. Much like Hades, this will help us through our uh, quest as we go into level 2. Descending the stairs. This is the Eye of Agony. It is my favorite enemy of this game. That's why I just want to end with this. The Soulbound is powerless. Press crouch just as you hit the ground to roll and avoid the fall damage. All right, B. B is crouched, so. Okay, we're at floor two. We can uh, see what's down here, maybe. Nope, that's a bottomless pit. Maybe something down here. Nope, also a bottomless pit. All right, let's keep going down this way. Let's see where we're at. All right. Uh, hey. Ooh, almost fell that bottomless pit. That would have uh, really hurt us. All right, let's run this way. Hope for the best. Go this way. Hope for the chest. 
And now go up. This might be our first encounter with the eye enemy. We're going to see a, like a little jump scary swirl thing and have some fun, so. This is basically understanding the whip is your friend in this jumping puzzle. Now, there's multiple ways to go about this. I could just go around that way. But I want to do the uh, fair and square route because, you know, I, I play fair. I play honest. I don't know why people keep saying I cheat at games and I'm bad at games. I play fair and honest. Let's see, anything up there? Nope. 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 There we go. And one more. Nope, we did. Okay. And one more. Okay, anything here to open? Or we're going to go straight to a trap. Here we go. What's down here? Oh! This is what I meant by secrets. You would be thinking bottomless pit. It's not. It's just a treasure room to get a large chest. Usually this comes with like a little gimmick. For me, it's an uncommon key. I need that to unlock some bonus stuff later on in this game if I play replay different runs and abilities. So. Let me try something real quick. Let's see. Nope, cannot make it up there. So we'll just have to keep going this way. All right. There's a treasure chest this way. We'll just keep going. Nope, Mary is gonna keep moving this way. Oh, avoid that. Uh, okay. Okay, just keep going this way. This is really scary for me. Oh, geez. Okay, keep running. Oh, real Indiana Jones hours in this area. Okay. Keep running, keep running. And done. Alright, don't know which way to go. If I had to guess, it's this way. Oh, jeez. Laser light beam eyes. Ah! Yeah, you don't want to touch that. You might die. Ah, I got hit. I lost one of my hearts. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. This is a safety square, so now I don't get, you know, blazed up. Just keep running this way. Run, 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 safe, 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 safe. Whew, okay. We have 153. We don't have enough for a blessing. But that's all right. We can always come back if we have... So now his attack is faster. He gets really pissed at you. We're at level three of four. Obviously, you, have to, you can keep going deeper and deeper into this game. Uh, it's encouraged. I still haven't been in the first temple yet, so it, it happens. So we're at floor three. Okay, no. Just keep crawling, crawling, crawling. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like there's two ways to do this. Let's just go into the shrine. Get some coinage. We'll be good. Are we at 200? Nope. So we're screwed. Okay. We'll just keep going. Hope for the best. Usually the idea is you keep walking along the corridor and not get sliced up. Okay, there's certain ways I can go about this. I'm just gonna go this way. Nope, jump, jump. One more and I'm dead. One more of these chip chop off, chop chops, I'm, I'm out. So this could be the end of my run. It's common, it's normal. I just got to watch out for any tricks like this. These are the worst tools in this game. I got to really run and here we go. 
Here we go. Nope, run for my life. Run for my life. Here we go. Just keep jumping. Keep jumping. We're running for our life. We do not want to die here. Gotta wait. Keep going, and we'll just keep running for our lives. Here we go. Okay, we'll just uh, keep running, and then uh, hopefully make it up this little thing. Okay, we got some treasure. We're good. Hopefully we can... Uh, we're near the end of this. Nope, we gotta wait for the arrows. Okay, we'll just keep waiting. Okay, I see a closing spot here. Okay, this this takes time, and it will just keep, uh, you know. No! I got sliced. I got sliced. So that's where I died. So now people will see where I went, learn from my mistakes, and uh, hopefully get the treasure that I couldn't get today. That's Phantom Abyss. It's available now. It's a lot of fun. Uh, back to you in the game lab. Well, that was fun. Thank you. Let's just, uh... There. We're back. Hey, we're back. We're, we're back. Uh, well, wasn't that exciting stuff? We looked at a lot of fun here. Um, but now, you know, before we, we sign off here, uh, we have to have one final segment... Uh, this is a, a, a great segment called uh, This is a game we're gonna load up our our tabletop simulator For this really cool game a game of games mind you not be confused with Ellen Ellen's game of games This is this is a ton of fun people really enjoy it it is uh, something I like to call the best video game tournament champions. That's, that's what it's called. It's it's called the the best video. It's called the best video game tournament champions. Um. So um, there we go. That's that's the show. There we go. Let's just. play games you know me i never stopped playing all right uh let's uh let's see what's what's here with the game with the game capture maybe we'll hit uh we'll hit uh nope we'll just keep going i will go single player here we go if we don't want to put the chat on that is uh let's just say not savory right now game of games here we go. We are, uh, yep, game, game of, game of, game of, oh, I guess we're just going to, okay. We're going to break this game. Oh, yeah, hey, there it is. Load this up. Load this up. We're trying to figure out what the best video game of all time is. What better way to do that than with Tabletop Simulator, a game of games created by some guy named Jordan. Uh, so, normally we'll be playing with four people, have a big debate. But instead, we're just going to be playing a speed round version of this based on one judge's opinion, me. Normally, we'll be asking the chat for this, but I don't know you. This is pre-recorded. So here's how it's going to work. We deal out eight. Yep. So everybody gets eight cards. And each of these, ga and each of these is a certain game. Now, obviously, you're looking at this and you're going, oh, those are some winners right there. Like, for instance, you know, Super Mario Galaxy 2. 
and Deus Ex Mankind Divided. The Yakuza 0, Shenmue 2, uh, the original Street Fighter. But what happens is then we'll draw another 8. Nope, we're not taking that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 8 cards and we're just going to play a speed round version. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to shuffle, 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 shuffle in that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have everyone draw out one card from each round. And that's going to create the bracket for our game. Now, normally this gets into heated debates, but because it's just me, it's just going to be me going, oh, I don't know. If you disagree with my opinion, you're wrong, not me. Or maybe I'm wrong and you're right. I don't know. Leave me a comment. What do you think? Let's see here. Uh, so first of all, Blaze Blue Continuum Shift. I've never played that game. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, a classic. I think that one came out for Wii U. Uh, remember Wii U? Mario Tennis Aces. Love our Aces and Pokemon Stadium. Uh, honestly, I'll just quickly go Pokemon Stadium and move on because I love the minigame collection on that. The Clefairy Says game. Uh, the the uh, the fact you can play as all 150 Pokemon, even if you never collected them all, even though they're all level 50, I thought that was always cool. The uh, technology of adding the controller into the game. You know, you could put the little case into the Nintendo game. Game Boy goes dead. Whoa! You're playing Pokemon in your Nintendo 64. It's great. Pokemon Yellow. Now we're playing with another Pokemon game. Icarus. No. Crazed X3 at High Roller Marvel Madness. Ah. Okay, we're ruling out Icarus right now. Um, sorry, Nintendo fans. Uh, Pokemon Yellow is my favorite Pokemon game. I love playing as Pikachu. I think the idea of playing as Pikachu, kind of like what you do in the uh, cartoon, uh, was very noble, and I enjoyed it a lot. And everyone called me a scrub, and I'm not a scrub. I, I like Pokemon Yellow, and maybe you just don't appreciate Pikachu more than I do. Pika Pika. Um... Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller is my favorite of the Crazy Taxi franchise. It is one game that is hard to find and is a rare game in certain cases. I own it. Uh, it basically is 1, 2, and 3 all together, but it was exclusively to Xbox. There was this crazy cool game mode where you got like Crazy Tornado and other different challenges in this fake Las Vegas set. And Marble Madness is one of the more iconic uh, arcade games of all time. You wrote a little jail ball, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to roll out Marble Madness, even though I really love Marble Madness. I think that's one of my favorite arcade games. So it's really between Pokemon Yellow and Ta Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. This would be a real debate that would take me hours and hours to fight. But I'm going to go Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller uh, because uh, Pokemon Yellow is already a Pokemon game on the list. But if it was between Pokemon Yellow and Crazy Taxi 3, that would make for a much more uh, strenuous debate. Round three, here we go. Space Channel 5. Hey, ooh la la fans. Heavy rain. Hey, where's all my Jason heads at? Jason! Remember J Jason? Remember? Remember Jason? Hey, remember Jason? All right, let's keep going. Dino Crisis 3. <laughs> <laughs> and Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition. I miss Scrub at fighting games, so I'm just going to move away. Street Fighter 5. Sorry, I know it's an iconic game franchise. I understand Street Fighter 5 is iconic. People love that Ryu, the big buff Ryu and all that. It's fine. It's fine. I understand it, but throwing it away. Dino Crisis 3, just throw it out. It's going to be between Space Channel 5 and Heavy Rain. I think people really uh, misguide Heavy Rain because of that whole, Hey, Jason! emotional impact of the game. But if you ever replay Heavy Rain, it is a very emotional, dramatic, like, video game. Yes, it's it's not really, like, the best game out there, but it is something that is of an emotional storyline. 
I love the choices of the games. I love what happens with them. But uh, Space Channel 5 is one more iconic Sega games. I think when people think of the Dreamcast, they think of only a select number of games out there, from Sonic Adventure to uh, Crazy Taxi to Space Channel 5. Uh, so, and because I'm sure there's a lot of X-Play fans out here, uh, there's a more iconic uh, review of Space Channel 5 uh, with one Morgan Webb. So we'll go with Space Channel 5 for the sake of not getting blasted on the internet. All right, let's keep going. Uh, next, Pac-Man Championship Edition DX, House of the Dead 2. Whoop, I guess we're going to do a way out, so I'm going to... There you go. Way out. And finally, Little Big Plan 3. Ooh! Ooh. Okay. Okay, this is a challenge. This is a challenge. I'm going to put my... I'm going to wear the blanket. I don't know if this is a game room or not, because I'm playing a video game. Uh, so, rule out a way out, because no one can ever play a way out for some reason. Uh, okay, so next, uh, Pac-Man Championship, really fun, great soundtrack. I, I get maybe an hour's worth of fun, and then I just stop playing it. House of the Dead 2, one of my favorite arcade games, just like Marvel Madness, Light Guns, Pew Pew, lots of fun. I don't really like horror games, but I love the House of the Dead franchise for some reason. But if I had to pick of all of all the games that were listed, Little Big Planet 3 would be that because of the way it handles creativity. I love sandbox creative games. I love the fact that you can create just about anything from uh, arcade games like Pong. Someone tried to replicate the Double Dare obstacle course in Legends of Hidden Temple in there, and I really enjoyed it. Like, there is a lot of creative in the Little Big Planet 3 community. Um, it is the last of the good little big playing game i didn't really care much for sackboy's uh adventure i thought uh, that was just kind of a step backwards but yes little big plant three definitely one of my favorite games putting that on the list let's keep going uh oh sh oh no oh no oh no This is the toughest one. We just I was wondering when we we're going to get to that. Level 5. Okay, so I can't really quickly get rid of one of these games. Um, Kirby's Dream Course is just a great Kirby game. I love the fact they tried to make a golf game with Mr. Poyo himself, Kirby. I love the curb. I love the curb. Devil May Cry is one of my favorite franchises. When I grew up, the Devil May Cry series with Dante was just one of the coolest fighting games out there. It was so frustrating, but so fun to do wild combinations. Um, Resident Evil 2. I, I don't do jump scares. I don't do jump scares, but Resident Evil 2, I think that was the solidified game for uh the playstation one and that is one of the greatest horror games out there one of the like must buy games is re2 uh, of course you can reinterpret this as the rebooted resident evil 2 in which case that's what i'm gonna do and just throw it out because i don't like jump scares and i don't like spooky uh in flight simulator x now i love chill games chill yes the landing of a plane that's stressful but everything else it's just calm it's cool it's just the way it looks the way the fog blows that sound of the wind it's just calm there isn't really much games i can think of that are just just all about just relaxing i find flight simulator to be one of the more relaxing games out there in this world of just screaming and yelling and pew pew loud noises, Flight Simulator is like the reverse of Devil May Cry. Uh, so it's kind of like loud versus calm in a way that's really challenging for me. Uh, but my favorite Devil May Cry is Devil May Cry 3. Maybe DMC. I think DMC might actually, it's on its equals. DMC, Devil May Cry, and DMC 3. I know people really love the fifth Devil May Cry game. But, uh... Who, um, you know, just because, ugh. 
this is a this is tough for me. I'm gonna get rid of Flight Simulator because it's boring. Uh, I will say Devil May Cry or Dream Curse is the two. Oh, there must be a winner, but I could always just flip a coin. I don't know. I'm gonna go Dream Course. I'm sorry, Dante. I'm so sorry, Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Uh, okay, next, uh, round six, I think we're at. Super Meat Boy, Hello Kitty Cruisers, Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, uh, oof. Can I pick none of the above? Uh, well, uh, I've never played Hello Kitty Cruisers, so it could be game of the year. It could be the best game ever. I have not played it. I'm going to guess it's just a kart racing game with Hello Kitty characters. Uh, maybe Kuropi's in it. Maybe My Melody. Uh, but I'm just going to just toss that out because I've never played it. Valkyria Chronicles, not one of my jams either, so I have to toss it out. If you love it, good on you. I don't, I've never played it. Tell me more about it. It's going to be between Super Meat Boy and Doki Doki Literature Club. Do I pick the horny anime game? Or do I pick Super Meat Boy? Super Meat Boy is a very frustrating game. But that that's where I'm leaning towards right now between the two. Why? Because I can play Super Meat Boy and not get like my, my Twitch account taken down. But Doki Doki Literature Club, I might. So I'm just going to pick uh, Super Meat Boy just to be safe because I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, if you love Doki Doki Literature Club, please let me know. Uh, hit up my DMs. Let me know your ASL. Maybe we'll hit it off. Maybe we probably won't. It's a fucked up game series, so I don't know. Let's, let's just see what's going on next. Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts. Rayman Legends. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Well, get rid of Sniper. <sighs> Those are two iconic platformers, and Surgeon Simulator is just such a goofy, fun game. You, you see it, just you will love Surgeon. It's just so goofy. It bloods and heart and bloop, bloop, bloop. I love games that are willing to be stupid for our entertainment. Uh, but I'm going to just get rid of that because... Man, it's going to be between these two iconic... Oh, Jesus. Oh. This would be the part where I'd be like trying to hit up everybody I know, which is the better platforming game, between Mario Galaxy and Rayman Legends, because I think both of them are five out of five. So they are Hall of Fame quality platformers. Uh, Mario Galaxy, with its Wii mode, its, its Wii mode, its, its innovative controls... Rayman, its ability to sink and be love. Oh, jeez. You know, I will just say this. I will be biased. I didn't like the Mario Galaxy and Super Mario 3D Land, so I'm just going to toss it out and just pick Rayman Legends just for that one mistake. Uh, and then we go to our last MTV Music Generator. Frog Fractions. Rampage World Tour Kentucky Roots. Four, like, almost completely opposites. Okay. Um, I played all of them. I've played all of these games. Kentucky Route Zero, one of the best indie titles I, I remember seeing. Just this wonderful set and art and just the way it handles dialogue is just pure. It's just like a pure game that I just, I think it's one of those things where Kentucky Route Zero is the A24 of video games. Just that perfect indie art house kind of game that, that uh, people really took for granted. It's really boring to play on Twitch. Those movie quality reading books, story games. And I, I think if you play it, it's just story rich. It's just a great adventure uh but i'm gonna get rid of it uh rampage world tour favorite game from nintendo 64 i i remember playing the shit out of it with ralph and lizzie the rock is in a movie based on that franchise 
and in just the arcane and appalling of coins and just blowing up buildings and then eating people and going bow, 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 just fun i it's just pure fun and i sometimes video games are all about just having fun but i'm getting rid of it it's uh it's between mtv music generator and frog fractions now I used to rent MTV Music Generator featuring DJ Scribble, mind you. Um, it is real bare bones music generation software for a PlayStation. Uh, but oh, geez, I will. I'm gonna probably pick MTV Movie Gen- Music Generator. I know MTV, haha, it's funny. But um, I will get to the story in just a second. We gotta get rid of Frog Fractions first. Frog Fractions is just a great flash game because of the way it handles its starting part of just looking like edutainment and then just going into this weird, bizarre series where just one thing leads to another. It becomes anime. It gets weirder it weirder. And you're just losing your mind playing this game after an hour. That If you haven't played Frog Fractions yet, it's also a please pick up and play i think it's free frog fractions is a free game i wish i i the problem is talking about frog fractions you spoil the main fun of the game which is it's not edutainment it's just a bizarre ass game it just works if you don't spoil that and i just love it i love frog fractions and then the sequel when everyone's like is this frog fractions too is also just pure beloved but mtv music generator I will uh, I will now tell my anecdote. I used to... Because, you know, I'm a kid. And MTV is hot. Get TRL. Go check out uh, TRL. Watch Real World London. and r- Go watch The Road Rules. Go watch The Quest. Um, all of these MTV shows. And all of the cool dances and all of the music and of course mtv is going to market like their own music game and mtv music generator was not really a game it was kind of like a uh quirky audio editing thing that's kind of like what mario paint is to so many people uh i never really enjoyed mario paint because i think it's too much effort to do the notes but I really enjoyed MTV Music Generator because you had guitar, you had drums, you had bare essentials of like do, like a snare. And you could use that to create like, I think a six track edit with scratches and scribbles. And it was my first foray into music composition. I am not a trained musician. I do not play instruments. I don't play a piano. I can't read sheet music. But when I played MTV Music Generator, it made me feel like, oh, I could be a musician. I could actually, you know, make my own tracks. This would be fun. And I had so much fun renting at Blockbuster that it was one of those, I accidentally, air quotes, uh, overstayed my rental and paid the late fee because I just wanted to keep playing that game. Of course, uh, I had to eventually relinquish the game back uh, because it was, uh, you know, you you were only there for like, you don't want to keep it enough to have to pay the fee. Uh, I think I left it for two weeks, gave it back, played, I think, Blitz, and then got it again. Like, it was just this real fun because I would just be mixing my own music and saving it. It just... To me, MTV Music Generator was like my first for way in the music composition, even though this was on a PlayStation in the mid 90s and there was already music editing software online on computers and people were already doing that. It just was like a low poly version of that game. So we're going to go with MTV Music Generator. We're almost done because it's I think it's 2 a.m. my time. Yep. All right. So now let's move on to the uh, way we should take a break, right? It's just the part where we take the break. Uh, okay, let's take the break. Hey, we're breaking, I guess. Uh, how's it going? We're taking a break uh, from that fun little segment so we can have a quick talk here. Uh, so, <clears throat> after compiling our tournament bracket, I think it's a good time that we talk about what's going on in anime. 
I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what's going on in anime. I guess Toonami is a thing still. Uh, there is Jujutsu Kaisen. People love that. I, I like Goro. Goro's a cool character. Like he has a little blindfold. He's kind of fun. Uh, there's a My Hero Academia movie coming soon. Uh, there was a trailer that just came out about that. Uh, let's. Um, I guess we can take a look at the My Hero uh, trailer, uh, right? Right. We could take a look at My Hero Academia trailer from the Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll probably has it, right? My Villain Academia. Ooh, spooky. Uh, Baruto. I don't I don't know any of these shows. I don't know any of these shows. Oh yeah, One Piece is a thing. You're right. One Piece is a thing. All right, let's get the uh no, Funimation. There it is. World of Heroes. Kose. Sore wa jinrui ni atairareta shikukuka. Be sure to buy a card game. Are you buying the card game? Um, all right. Oh, people are talking. Oh, One Piece is still a thing. People are still, wow. There is Assassination Classroom. Wait, Assassination Classroom is still a thing? Okay. Uh, Love After World Domination. Okay, we'll take a look at this, uh, let's watch this anime. Right. Is that the challenge we just did? The, the Jackie, the Jacko? That's the Jacko challenge. あの秘密結社結構戦闘員リーダー死神王女こと曲がらてすめこれは禁断の恋人を歩き始めた正義の味方と悪の組織の戦闘員の者語であるほいは世界征服の後で好きな好きな好きな好きな好きな好きな好きな好
No. No, I'm not ready. No, never will be. You're not forcing me to. All right. So now, uh... Here we go. Here, here's another uh, challenge. Let's see. So. so 2019 Scrabble Finals existed too. Like almost a guarantee as well. So I, uh, so I just wanted to quickly show this. Uh, because esports uh, is all around us, folks, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to just around. keep talking about wonderful world there seems of to be uh, a challenges. Even distribution of consonants and vowels left in the pool, according to Carl, about fifteen, 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 sixteen, I don't something know what like that. that, means. that or You're not a good caster. You need to hype them up and say, "Yeah, that's a triple word score. Hell yeah!" But they're not going to do that because well, why would you? It's it's Scrabble. But here's what we could do. Here's what we could do. That's right, folks. I'm giving people something even cooler. That's right. We're going to do a Sudoku puzzle. Sudoku. Um, there you go. There, nope. Nope. Maybe, maybe. Nope. 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 There I am. All right. Here I am. Here are that square. Let's do a Sudoku, folks. Let's refresh, though, so we can time ourselves. Go for our PB. That's right, our peanut butter. Here we go. Uh, nine, nine, nine. Well, that's all the same. Let's see. One, one. There has to be a one here. By default, that's the one. All right. One, one, one's all there. Three, 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 all done. Uh, twos. Two is two. That means this will have a two. It's either going to be here. Candidate for that is a two. Candidate for that is a two. Move on. Nine, nine. There's going to be a nine in this section. That means the candidate's going to be a nine here or a nine here. Well, the nine's already there, so that can't be the nine, which means that is the nine. All right, so that can't be the nine. We'll just clear that out. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We can't keep going. Let's just keep going around. One, 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 five, five. This will be a f no, that's a five as well. Eight, eight, no, no, nine, nine. That means this is going to be a nine, or this is going to be well. That nine's there, and that that's nine there, so that's nine there. Nope, that means that's the nine. All right, so one, one. That means this is going to be a one, or this is going to be a one, and that is going to be the one because you can't cross one there, and there's already one there, so that has to be the one. All right, so let's see. Uh, nine, nine, nine. <sighs> nine done uh one two three 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 one over there one over here that means one has to be here or here that one is there so therefore the one has to be there one two three can be there it can be there it could be there so we have to keep moving on all right so four 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 nope six 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 done uh nine nine that means the nine's there nine's done nine 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 okay we clear that out as a possibility all right one two three well, two is done. Two clears that out, so that has to be a two. So two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You guys remember that song? You guys remember? You guys, you guys ever? See? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do 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 do. Okay, can't do five. Can't do that. So let's keep moving on. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Four can be here. It could be here. It could be here. Four can't be on that spot, so it has to be here on this spot or to this spot. So candidate mode. Four on that. Four on that. Let's keep going. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's just uh, move on. <laughs> One, two, uh, three. Nope. 
Three can't be there, so three has to be candidate here or here. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. It could be four, too. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six. Six can't. Nope. Keep moving on. All right. We got to keep going. We have to keep checking this out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It can't be there. Five can't be there, so that has to be a five. One, two, three, four, 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 nope. Four can't be there. Okay, four, 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 where's four go? I don't know, one, two, three. Let's see, uh, two. Two's there. Uh, but two is not there or there yet. So let's see, one, two, three. One, two, two. Where's the two? Where's the two? This is tough. W what's up? Let's play some funny sound effects in the process just to make this even funnier. Uh, all right, uh. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. That's not that's not helpful at all. All right, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Well, that's not going to help me out at all. All right, so let's see. Uh, four, 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 one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, can't do a nine there. It has to be there. So nine's there. Four's there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six can't be there. Seven can't be there. So six or seven can't be there. So whatever is not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight has to be there. It has to be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Six and seven. I can't play with that yet. Can't play a six and seven yet in that square, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, four. Can't be there. Four has to be there, though. Four, five, six. Six is going to be one of those two. Can't play it. Seven. Can't play it yet either. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Six. Nope. Seven. Can't play seven that one. Seven has to be there. So six has to be there. Move on. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Can't play with that, so let's just keep going. One, two, three. It can't be that. So it's three, three, four. Four can be either of those, so let's just candidate four on both of those. Five, six, seven. Can't be in this box, so seven has to be in this box. Uh, eight, nine, ten. All right, nine. So one, two, three, four. So let's just keep going here. Three, three, four. Three, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Uh, three for three industries. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five has to be one of these. Well, if I was there, so we're done. All right, one, two. Let's see, one, two, three, four, four, or four, five, six. There's no six, and there can't be a six here, so that has to be the six. So because that's the six, that's the four. One, two, three, can't be there, three has to be there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. All right. And that clears those two out. Okay. One, two, three, four. Can't be there. Four has to be there. Five is gone. So five goes there. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. The two can't be there because that two's there. So two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't do anything yet. So let's see. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Well, three can't be that. So it has to be a four. So that has to be a three. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, four. Four here, four there. Don't know. Can it? Four, five. Five is the only other number we can't do that as a clue yet. There's no clues. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six on this podium, so it has to go into this column now. Uh, six, seven, eight. There we go. Nine. So one, two can't be there or there. Two can be here or there. Three, three can't be there. Three can't. Three can't be there or there, so three has to be there. One, two, three, four. Let's see where four is. No fours. No fours. Five, six, seven, eight. Can't, eight can't be there. If eight can't be in this slot, we need an eight. Eight has to be there. So one, two. Two can't be in this spot, so it has to be in that spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. One, two. Can't be that. So two has to be there. Three, four, five. <laughs> Don't know why I'm singing. Four. Uh, let's just keep going. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, six. Where's six? Six there. So six has to go there. Seven, eight, nine. Done. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> one, two, three, four, f five, six, seven. Five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Boom! I did a Sudoku today. I'm smart. <coughs> I did it. I won. Me. I won. Gotta love it, folks. Hi. Now, I'm smart, and people will love me. That's what I love. You know, just sometimes, sometimes it hurts not knowing that people just want to just knock you when you're down. That fun. All right, so before we left off, we uh, were talking about this. Oh. I'll just do this. I'll just pretend we're still in the game lab. All right. So, uh, hi, I'm, I'm doing some role playing games now with my hooded thing. Whoa. You're in a dark dungeon. Ooh, tabletop simulator. Spooky. All right. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see. Let's, let's make the best game now. All right. So, uh, Pokemon saying we're crazy tax three high roller. Uh, what do you think chat? Okay, let's move on. I think it, I'm going to pick up uh, between the two. Crazy Taxi, High Roller. Between Space Channel 5 and Little Big Planet 3, Little Big Planet 3. I think they're both really good. I like the innovation of Little Big Planet 3 more than I love the soundtrack of Space Channel 5. Uh, Meat Boy or Dream Course, Kirby takes the advantage on that one. Rabian or Ramsey Music Generator, I would pick Rabian Legends. Well, it is a good game. We just got to move on. All right, Crazy Taxi to High Roller or Little Big Planet 3. Little Big Planet 3, one of the more innovative titles for Sony PlayStation at a time when they really weren't selling that many games. Rayman or Kirby, it goes to Rayman. Between Little Big Planet 3 and Rayman Legends, I'd pick Little Big Planet 3. A lot of variety, a lot of changes in the game. So that would be our winner, Little Big Planet 3. Whoever had that card at the beginning wins the game. I think that was the top right corner, but I might be mistaken. So that would be the winner of Game of Games. And now the part that everyone kind of wants, the flipping of the table. So there. All right, flip the table for you. You guys happy? You guys happy I flipped the table for you? Doing, doing what chat wants. Yep. All right. So uh, now it's time for, before we end off, uh, it's time for our final segment here. A fortune cookie. We read a fortune cookie off because content is good that way. Here we go. Our fortune cookie of the day is... Uh, soon you will get the recognition you deserve. 
I, it sounds like a threat and not in a good way. I'm kind of scared. Uh, but also, uh, we're, we're having fun here. We're trying to uh, have some content. You know, I think it's time for our final game, our final segment. This is the uh, J Jordan, the Jordan 5. So let's have some uh, sentimental piano music. Can we, uh, can we get some like uh, royalty-free piano music? Maybe there's a... Uh... It'd be great if we got some copyright-free piano music right now. Hi. Uh, this would be also be great if we had headphones. All right. All right, so here's what we learned today. Number one, we learned always look a gift box in its mouth. Number two, we learned we learned that uh, it is fun to play with knives. Number three. We learned uh, that sometimes two buttons work. Simplicity is the best. Four. We learned. Uh, four. We learned that Jordan cannot drink water for the life of him. So stay hydrated, folks. Five? Five? Jo Jordan really needs to play more video games. And then our plus two. We learned... Comic books might not always make the best video games, just like they might not make the best movies. And finally, putting on an hour long, two hour long, or three hour long streaming show with tons of content is really difficult for one man to do. That's why you need a team. So thank you everybody for tuning in for today's episode. There will not be another one like this. At least, not for a while. I don't know when they're on break. But, I hope you had fun tonight. I hope we all learned Bible lessons. There'll be more streams uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, next week, actually. So stay tuned to uh, twitch.tv slash g4tv, youtube.com slash g4tv, or just follow me here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at Jordha. I lonely I, I waste my life on this stuff so just want to be liked watching.
There. Yeah, now it's officially. Yeah, now it's a stream. We got the cowbell noise. Got the cowbell noise. We did it. All right, we're good. We're clear. <laughs>